this is swatches on different sizes, different sizes of DC, double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet. So we're going to get into the sizes and which one would be best for you. Double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet. So with double crochet, as you can see, it elongates your image. So whatever image you have is going to make it longer and skinnier. Half double crochet, it, to me, it's almost like the perfect size. It's not too big and it's not too small. And then single crochet is basically the smaller version of the two. The smaller version of the two, which is not too big, but it may be a little small, but it's, to me, it's, it's a good size. So this is single crochet and this is this is the regular single crochet and this is the single crochet extended which is just a half a step up so that of course makes it a little bit larger and with the hdc this is regular hdc and this is hdc extended which makes this a extended extra large a little larger and this is just dc i am not doing the extended because then that would be just not worth it but it's just regular h um regular double crochet double crochet for graph gains is not recommended in my opinion for like blankets and certain things but um some people use it for like different types of garments or whatever depending on the product Depending on the project, you could use double crochet, but I do not, I strongly do not recommend double crochet for blankets or anything, um, unless you're doing like a certain symbols, symbols that have like a solid image. Um, there are certain pictures, like actual pictures that I will never, ever do with double crochet because it will just distort your image. It will make it skinny and it's super duper long. And if you're going to do it with um, uh, a blanket, the blanket is going to be extremely long and really, really, really skinny. So I do not recommend double crochet, but again, you could use it for like certain types of garments or whatever with the hdc now this is my preferred stitch this is the stitch that i use when i use my pop lock and drop which is my color method that you can check out in the video in the description below but this is um hdc extended version and the extended version is what i use with the cha changing colors of pop lock and drop and this is this is um, a little bit larger, and but it doesn't like completely distort your image. It's, to me, it's like the perfect stitch. Or I could use the regular HDC. So for me, for my preferred stitch is HDC or HDC Extended. And it works very well for me. But for those who love your single crochet, single crochet is simple, is easy, is quick for some. Not for me. HDC is quicker for me. And single crochet gives you like a, a smaller, neater stitch. And the blankets turned out a little bit smaller, but not as small. So as you can see, the stair steps, the stair steps in the size. Um, and if you did Tunisian, Tunisian crochet, of course, is going to be smaller than that. It's going to be smaller than this, actually. Um, it's going to look almost like knit. But this right here is how the size dimensions go up. So anytime you're trying to figure out what is your stitch, what stitch you would like to use, take into consideration the look and the size. The look and the size will tell you which stitch is best for you as well. Also, how you do your color changing. Your color changing is different for each one of these. Um, 
for my color changing, HDC is the best. <laughs> my color changing for HDC is hands down the best for um, graph gans. And that's graph ganning anything, whether it's blankets, um, garments, or whatever. But yeah, this is your preference. If you want to go based on size, you could either do the extended version or you could do, um, I, I'm going to take this one out, but you could do HDC or HDC extended, or you could do single crochet or a single crochet extended. It's up to you. Now there's other stitches. This is just the basic stitches. There are so many other stitches, which I am going to go into how many other stitches you could use to do your crochet project, but these are the basic stitches. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Hit me down below, which is your favorite stitch? Which one would you like to choose? Which one do you always choose? And let me know um, in the description below if you have a stitch in mind that you would like me to use for um, to test it out in a graph game way. I will definitely test out any stitch you would like me to use. All right, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe subscribe share it sharing is caring have a good one sunshine bye